Okay, so now we're going to talk about the cell cycle and um, the checkpoints that it has. So there's going to be three checkpoints, and the point of these is to actually make sure that whatever has happened up to that point was done correctly. So the first one is going to be the G1S checkpoint. And so this is going to be where the point where the cell is going to decide whether or not to divide. So it's going to happen at the end of the G1 um, cycle. So if we go back to our picture here, so you've got that G1S checkpoint. So it's going to happen towards the end of G1, and what it's going to do is look at the nutritional state of the cell. Because there's no point in going on to the S phase where it's going to copy the DNA if everything didn't go correctly on G1. Hopefully you see what I'm talking about there. Okay, then there's going to be um, the next one, which is going to be the um, G2M checkpoint, and that's going to happen over here. And so what's happened between this checkpoint and this one is that S phase, so it's copy the DNA. So at this point, what it's going to do is check that the DNA was copied correctly, and if it was, it'll allow it to go beyond that point, and if not, it won't. Okay, so that S is uh, the G1S, or, sorry, G2M checkpoint is making sure that the DNA was copied correctly. Okay, then we're going to have this one that's the spindle checkpoint, and the spindle checkpoint is going to be checking that all the microtubules are attached correctly in metaphase. <clears throat> so, um, let's go back here, sorry, do, 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 okay, so it's going to happen at the end of metaphase, and what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that each side of each chromatid has a microtubule attached, because think about it, what if it didn't? If it didn't, then if like this one wasn't attached, then this entire chromosome would go over here, and now you have extra chromosomes on one side and not enough on another, and we talked about how that could be a bad idea, right? So those are going to be the checkpoints, and um, they're very, very, very important. So if something doesn't make it past that checkpoint, what happens is the cell goes back and does it again. So there are some cells that are stuck forever because the cell is like, nope, that wasn't copied correctly. Nope, that wasn't copied correctly. So it'll just stay like that forever. So it totally depends. <clears throat> All right. Now we need to get into some kind of hairy stuff, and this is the actual mechanisms. So at a checkpoint, there isn't some guy standing there with like a little, you know, checklist that's like, okay, everything's good. Obviously, there is going to be some sort of molecular mechanism that's going to allow this to happen. So the molecular mechanism in general is going to be called phosphorylation, which is adding a phosphate group onto something, okay? All right, so here we go. There are going to be enzymes that are called kinases, and um, let me picture here. All right, so you're going to have this enzyme, oh that's terrible, <laughs> and it's called a kinase. And then you're going to have a substrate that's like that, and in this case it's going to be um, called cyclin. Cyclin is a protein, kinase is an enzyme. Those have to click together in order for it to go to the next checkpoint in, in general. Okay. Now in mammals, we're going to have a specific type of kinase that's called CDK. That stands for cyclin, which is this, dependent kinase. So it's a kinase, which is this enzyme that depends on cyclin in order to function. Okay, so that's really, really, really important to understand. And this part gets a little bit hairy, so I want to make sure that that makes sense. All right, so we've got our kinases, which are the enzymes, and phosphatases are going to be enzymes that take away phosphates. Okay, CDK is going to be the ones that have to bind with cyclin, and that's that protein. And what's going to happen is cyclin is going to fluctuate throughout the cell cycle depending on if everything is okay for it to pass that cell checkpoint. Okay. So um, CDC2 is going to be a specific one that we have as mammals, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to talk about each checkpoint and the specific molecular mechanism that's going to allow it to pass to the next checkpoint.